Bonjour and welcome back to another episode of TED Mini. I'm Serena and together we'll be learning about technology engineering and design. In today's episode we'll be learning the classes of levers. James. James is traveling from Malta to London Heathrow with his hipster suitcase. What James does not realize is that during his travels he will be helping us discover the three classes of levers. But wait, what are levers? Levers are tools which give us either a mechanical advantage or increased precision of movement. A mechanical advantage means that applying a large movement with a small force will result in a small movement with a large force. But let's go back to where we started, with James and his travels. James takes his suitcase out of storage, but discovers that it is locked with a padlock. But where is the key? Looks like the only way to open the suitcase will be to break the lock. But the lock is too strong to break with his bare hands, so he gets a pair of cutters, and with the help of mechanical advantage offered by the lever, he cuts through the hard metal of the padlock. But how is it possible? The cutters are class 1 levers, and like the majority of class 1 levers, they are meant to help us by giving us a mechanical advantage. How do I know that the lock cutters are a class 1 lever? Quite simple. If you look closely at the cutters, you will see that the hinge of the cutters, which we also call a pivot or fulcrum, is in the middle. James makes an effort with his hands on one side of the cutters, while the force is produced on the other side of the pivot. This simple layout with the pivot or fulcrum in the middle and the effort or force on opposite sides to it is how I know that this is a class 1 lever. James can now start filling up his suitcase with all of his trendy clothing. Seems like James packed so much clothing that he has to stuff some of it into the lid of the suitcase. Once that is full, he tries to close the suitcase but finds he needs two hands to be able to close the lid. But wait, isn't that a good example of a class 2 lever? Indeed it is. Look closely and you'll see that the hinge of the suitcase is now our pivot. Just to decide are James clothes, which are our load or force, and next are James hands, making an effort to pull the suitcase lid up and over. But it seems that no matter how well James has packed, his suitcase still won't close. Only one solution left. Make use of a third class lever. Onto the suitcase James jumps, pressing and squashing the clothes down. The suitcase hinge is still the pivot, but up next, instead of a load, it's James, pushing down and making an effort to close the suitcase. The force at the end of the suitcase lid is then pressing down onto the clothes, till success! The suitcase is closed and ready for takeoff. And that will be all for today's episode of TED Mini. If you have any suggestions or guide comments, please leave them down below. I'm Serena, and thank you for having watched another episode of TED Mini.